Hello and welcome to the fourth week of my indie game development. I have a lot to show you and not much time to edit this video, in the end of it you'll understand why. On Sunday I firstly began implementing stun visual and stun resist text. Two hours later I finally fixed all bugs and now it works. After that I began making colliders for all units, because I don't want their sprites to overlap. Rigid bodies become kinematic when enemy units are in attack range, to prevent pushing around. And after fixing bugs I began to work on Warrior of Light. Actually, I will have to redo a lot of his animations. By then I had been working for 4 hours. Uh, sorry if I mess up the tenses. And I'm amazed by how some people are able to program for 10 and more hours a day. Because I've become pretty exhausted after 3 hours already. And it is with the help of Formadoro technique. Monday began with training session with my friends. We are beginners and also having fun while training. Да, Соф, я помогу тебе. Ой, ты не After that, we were working out and also searching for my friend's cat who fell off from fifth floor. Luckily, the cat is alright. And I started to work on adding timeline to the game. The premise of it is that you have to defend from enemy waves for a certain amount of time on each level to give your evil lord time to recover. On Tuesday I had to redo the timeline because of some bugs and continue to work on warrior animations. On 
the game starts to look better, don't you think? Begin making spawn waves icons. Oops, small fix. Made automatic spawn for unit waves icons. Units began to spawn when timeline hits wave icon. Uh, this was not planned. The problem was that I forgot to remove the semicolon after if statement. And now it works just fine. Try to make Sepultura cover. I could not dig that day and instead murdered some poisonous cow, Brin. And after that polished when spawn icons should disappear. Third studying day on the fourth year of the university. Four lectures which are unfortunately not helpful for me. After university I went to gym and it took a lot of time. I am trying to continue programming at the same pace. So, firstly I fixed warrior death animation. After that I've made it so that when units die, their sorting layer is decreased and their bodies don't cover those who are alive. Fixed the bug with moving units with enough units when placing them and had a little fun with casting lightning strikes on warriors. That's pretty satisfying. I hope that when we make bigger levels it will automatically fix the problem with units falling through walls, because the temporary scene is quite small. On Friday I was experimenting with adding light and shadows to the game and also searching the internet for the visual bubble effect like in Diablo or Fallout 1 for example. But I have not yet found the tutorial. And unfortunately it's not written in this book about shaders, which I'm currently reading while going on train. If I suddenly stop uploading videos, there's a good chance that I was killed on the way home. Don't skip the training. And today I had to wake up at 6 am once again because we have 4 seminars on Saturday. And this is the reason why this video is not as good as it could have been, because it is already late evening and I don't want to break my upload schedule. Overall it was a productive week, we've made quite a lot of progress on the game with the artist I have a lot of plans for the future and the more we develop our project, the more I think that it has a chance of becoming a good game. We will see how it turns out in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Need to take some rest now.